guys, it's Megan and welcome to today's video. I wanted to share three easy Dollar Tree DIYs that I did for Valentine's Day. I had a couple areas that I just wanted to add a little bit more Valentine's Day feel in that area. So I wanted to do it on a budget, obviously, because we know I like doing things on a budget. And I obviously got all this stuff from Dollar Tree. I'm really happy with how it turned out. I think it looks really pretty and sweet and loving for Valentine's Day. I hope you guys enjoy seeing how I created them. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you love DIYs and Dollar Tree. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, I would love for you to subscribe. For my first DIY, I took two of these Dollar Tree gift bags and two of these 8x10 frames. I like this gold one a lot, so I didn't even need to spray paint it. I wanted to just go ahead and keep it gold. This bag fits this frame pretty well. You just have to trim the sides and the top a little bit, but not much. But before I like to trim up the sides, I like to cut the bag out just the front side since in the Dollar Tree, it only has glitter on the front. Then I just fit the bag inside the frame and voila, I have this really pretty wall art for my dining room and I think it turned out really pretty. Obviously, you could do something with that white border inside the frame. You could put some washi or some ribbon or just leave it plain white like I did and I think it would look great anyway. Next, I took these two heart bases from the Dollar Tree. They were obviously red, but I didn't want them to be red, so I spray painted them pink, and I took the ribbon off of the top of them. Now, I wanted to spray paint them pink, but I actually wanted them to be glittery pink, so I went ahead and spray painted just a coat um, over the red just to give it that pink look so that when I put the glitter over it, there would be pink underneath it if there wasn't thick glitter in any of the areas. After I got done spray painting, I took my Mod Podge and I took a makeup sponge, the little ones that you can get. I think they sell them at Dollar Tree, but you can get them at anywhere and they're super cheap. I just took the Mod Podge on the sponge and layered it all on the vase and then added glitter. Now this glitter that I used has a little bit of a green reflect in it, which I didn't realize until once I started. Um, and this one is also extra fine glitter. I wish I would have had a little bit of a thicker glitter on hand in pink, but I didn't. So this ended up working for me, but if I had to go back and do it, I would definitely get a different pink um, glitter, but I still think this turned out pretty. After I was done putting all the glitter on it, I let it dry for a while, a couple hours, and then I sprayed it with a lot of hairspray to kind of lock in the glitter. It doesn't lock all of the glitter in, but it does a good job. Then I put some E6000 on the top part of the heart um, vase, and then I added the little vase with all the hearts that they're selling this season at Dollar Tree to the top of it. I love that vase. Then I took some of the heart picks. I had it in red and pink and like a red and a pink with kind of a different feel to it. I don't even know what you would call it, but just to add a little bit of texture. And I just think it looks so pretty for my dining table. I love just the little pop of Valentine's Day that it adds and it was very inexpensive to do. I actually took those two candle plates that are glass and just stuck it underneath. I don't have it glued to it but I just thought it would look kind of pretty like that. For my next DIY, I took this glass vase from the Dollar Tree in the vase section, some gold glitter and Mod Podge. I added the Mod Podge to about half of it or a little a little less than half of it and then worked that around, shook it off, then added more glitter, then I would add more Mod Podge and just go like that all the way around. I saw this DIY on Facebook during Christmas and it was like a random video that popped up and they did it with red glitter and I thought it looked really pretty so I wanted to do something like that for Valentine's Day so I did the gold 
and I think it looks real pretty. Kind of shake all that glitter off. Then I took this candlestick from Dollar Tree and I wanted to have the bottom of it be gold to match the top so I took some tape and just taped it around where I didn't want the glitter to go any higher and I added the Mod Podge to the bottom of it and then I just sprinkled the glitter all over that as well. I let it sit outside to dry for a couple hours and then I also sprayed this down with some major hairspray. And the DIY that I saw on Facebook in that little area on top of the candlestick, they added pearls and I thought that was so pretty. Dollar Tree didn't have any kind of pearls so I got these pink beads and I thought it would kind of give that same look. But unfortunately, it didn't quite do it for me. I, it looks okay, but I just added all the beads into a bowl and combined them together, the colors that I wanted that had the pink in there and the white. And then I used the funnel to put the beads in just to make it easier so they didn't spill all over. Um, it, it turned out okay with, with just the look of the beads, but you'll see I ended up adding some ribbon around it just to give it a little bit of a different look. I'm not sure which way I like it better, but you'll see that in a second. But before I did that, I added some E6000 to the rim of the candlestick. Then I stuck the vase on top of it and positioned it the way I wanted it to stay. And then I let that dry. This is the ribbon that I added I had on hand from last year. As you can see, that's how it looked with just the beads. I think I like it a little bit better with the ribbon. Regardless, I'm still really happy with how it turned out for a couple of bucks. I think it looks really pretty and you can put one of those little flameless or battery operated tea lights in there and it would light up pretty through um, the glass at nighttime. So I think it added the perfect little touch to that area. So that is it for these three Valentine's Day DIYs from the Dollar Tree. I hope you guys enjoyed checking them out, maybe got some ideas or inspiration. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you all have an amazing rest of your day. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you are new. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.